Hey, what happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these... These two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. can do something with this. Are you hurt? Oh, I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. 
I'll make it very worth your while. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the Daunt. They used to warn folks that the Tanakhs are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Look, the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. Your father? Is he a thief? Sorry. Opportunist, too? No. He helped design the towers. Before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah. And why they have sentimental value. I won't make you any promises, but if I'm up there, I'll have a look. Same with any other towers I find. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. I can grab this from my stash later. this place. Okay, made it. And I guess that's the signal device. So the metal reflects the sun to send a message to the other towers? Got the lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her. I'm 
gonna have to get a healer to look at his ankle. Oh, damn. Probably gonna cost. Did you find the lens? Maybe. If you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal! Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. Now, if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around. Why else would one leave the glory of Mains? Eyes up here, brother. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the don't. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well... I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word, Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar wasn't one to be sidetracked, sun rest his soul. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nozar only listened to facts, and those who remain follow his example. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more Eclipse are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this Eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here.
I see plenty of tracks from the Karcha search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. trail up ahead now. Stuff for the stash. for that bridge. Someone set up a lookout down here. Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Have a bad view of Baron Light, if you want to spy on it. I wonder if my focus can show me anything.
trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. Looks like a good place for someone to hide. We kill the lion. And take on a whole garrison. We don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra. And now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard, we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. Soon. from my stash when I get it. I'm in trouble now.
that. It sounds like there's more eclipse beyond the daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a focus. He could tell me where they are. I'm guessing that's Rhea. Blood trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, up past barren light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. When we fought the Eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. <clears throat> Guess I was wrong. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But the other officers, they may not be convinced by your words alone. If they need proof, show them that. And tell them this man risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to the right people. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader's dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, 
You should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. <laughs>